Hi, it's John Nancy in Reviews, and today on Retro Recommendations, we're going to be talking about Jack Clayton's 1961 supernatural chiller, The Innocents. A new and adult motion picture experience. No! So before I start the review, a quick overview of what Retro Recommendations is. It's a series of video reviews where I talk about films from the 30s, 40s, 50s and 60s and why people should check them out. These can range from films that are more popular from the various eras or films that are far more obscure and lesser known that I really think people should seek out. As well as this, please give the video a like, it means a lot and helps the video get a bit more traction and if you're feeling really generous, hit the subscribe button. But now, on to the review, I hope you enjoy it. One of the many adaptations of the Henry James novella The Turn of the Screw and arguably the most well known and highly regarded. The Innocent sees a young governess, played by Deborah Kerr, for two children, become convinced that the house and the grounds where she's working are haunted. Having seen the most recent adaptation of the novella, with The Haunting of Bly Manor just this past October, unfortunately it meant there were no real surprises for me in terms of the mystery and its eventual reveals. However, where Bly Manor was bogged down by too much padding and too thin in terms of character focus and a lack of substantial scares, The Innocents delivered a far more straightforward, focused and spine-chilling affair. I won't spoil anything here as for one, I recommend the film and two, the reveals are far more satisfying without any prior specifics. However, even when knowing what's to come, the creative and disturbing nature of what's really going on is undeniable. The film flies by, and at times the shorter runtime and incredibly basic presentation can make some very important and key story elements a bit less impactful than they should feel. That being said, the sense of atmosphere, the isolated location and limited amount of characters to spend all our time with excels in crafting an immersive feature that drips with history, intrigue and a brooding sense of horror and a growing aura of menace that rises as the film progresses. The location of Bly is beautifully shot and casts a gargantuan presence. The luscious gardens, still lake, towering exterior and maze-like corridors really bring the location to life. The direction is brilliant, with substantial long takes and character positioning that will have your eyes darting across the screen for any signs of the supernatural. The shadow and lighting usage is stellar and helps craft many fantastic shots. The film is damn creepy at times as well. Whilst not reaching the level of tension or fear seen in other supernatural thrillers like The Others, its influence upon them is undeniable and there are many nail-biting sequences with maximum use of tension building and some very unnerving out in the open scares that don't rely on the editing and lighting etc to be effective. Deborah Kerr gives a great performance as Miss Giddens, seeing the influence and mystery of the manor grow upon her and her optimism turn to fear and insanity is a thrilling arc and Kerr delivers in the most intense dramatic moments and emotional sections. Megs Jenkins, pottering and almost blissfully unaware Mrs Gross makes for a great side companion to Miss Giddens as well as providing context to help piece the mystery together. Both the child actors, Martin Stevens and Pamela Franklin, deliver impressive and unsettling performances and never fall into irritation as the child actors did in Bly Manor. The Innocence is a superb slice of ghostly horror that's influence on the genre is undeniable and still is exceptionally creepy even 60 years later. Brilliantly shot, gracefully and chillingly crafted both technically and visually, as well as featuring great performances. It may be basic in its presentation and lacking in substance in some of the key moments due to some of the rush and seemingly out of nowhere conclusions and revelations, but putting that aside, this is certainly worth a watch and definitely a haunting retro recommendation. Thanks for watching the video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you've seen The Innocence or what's your favourite supernatural chiller. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you again very soon on the next video. Cheers.